Welcome to our Lent Reflection for Wednesday the 16th of March. This week we are looking at building communities of justice and today's session is entitled A Community of Radical Justice. Our reading comes from Leviticus 25 verses 1 to 28, a long reading today. The Lord said to Moses at Mount Sinai, Speak to the Israelites and say to them, when you enter the land I am going to give you, the land itself must observe a Sabbath to the Lord. For six years sow your fields, and for six years prune your vineyards and gather their crops. But in the seventh year, the land is to have a year of Sabbath rest, a Sabbath to the Lord. Do not sow your fields or prune your vineyards. Do not reap what grows of itself or harvest the grapes of your untended vines. The land is to have a year of rest. Whatever the land yields during the Sabbath year will be food for you, for yourself, your male and female servants, and the hired worker and temporary resident who live among you, as well as for your livestock and the wild, wild animals in your land. Whatever the land produces may be eaten. Count off seven Sabbath years, seven times seven years so that the seven Sabbath years amounts to a period of 49 years. Then have the trumpet sounded everywhere on the 10th day of the seventh month. On the day of atonement, sound the trumpet throughout your land. Consecrate the 50th year and proclaim liberty throughout the land to all its inhabitants. It shall be a jubilee for you. Each of you is to return to your family property and to your own clan. The fiftieth year shall be a jubilee for you. Do not sow and do not reap what grows of itself or harvest the untended vines, for it is a jubilee and is to be holy for you. Eat only what is taken directly from the fields. In this year of jubilee, everyone is to return to their own property. If you sell land to any of your own people or buy land from them, do not take advantage of each other. You are to buy from your own people on the basis of the number of years since the Jubilee, and they are to sell to you on the basis of the number of years left for harvesting crops. When the years are many, you are to increase the price, and when the years are few, you are to decrease the price, because what is really being sold to you is the number of crops. Do not take advantage of each other, but fear your God. I am the Lord your God. Follow my decrees and be careful to obey my laws and you will live safely in the land. Then the land will yield its fruit and you will eat your fill and live there safely. You may ask, what will we eat in the seventh year if we do not plant or harvest our crops? I will send you such a blessing in the sixth year that the land will yield enough for three years. While you plant during the eighth year, you will eat from the old crop and will continue to eat from it until the harvest of the ninth year comes in. The land must not be sold permanently, because the land is mine, and you reside in my land as foreigners and strangers. Throughout the land that you hold as a possession, you must provide for the redemption of the land. If one of your fellow Israelites becomes poor and sells some of their property, their nearest relative is to redeem, come and redeem what they have sold. If, however, there is no one to redeem it for them, but later on they prosper and acquire sufficient means to redeem it themselves, they are to determine the value for the years since they sold it and refund the balance to the one to whom they sold it. They can there, then go back to their own property. But if they do not acquire the means to repay, what was sold will remain in the possession of the buyer until the year of Jubilee. It will be returned in the Jubilee and they can then go back to their own property. Leviticus isn't really anyone's favourite book of the Bible and usually gets quoted in the context of strange laws we don't like or which seem irrelevant today or which contradict each other. Yet at its heart is a truly incredible and radical vision. Chapter 25 sets out the principle of jubilee for the people as they enter the promised land and settle in it. 
The idea is that work and productivity do not drive everything, but that everyone and everything, including the land, must rest regularly. Even more challenging, the year of Jubilee sees the forgiveness of debts and a return of all land to its original tribes and owners. Leviticus describes a reset of the economic and social clock every 50 years, a chance to say that the mistakes of the past do not have to define the future, and to remind people not to hoard and accumulate riches that should be distributed fairly. The vision is breathtaking. No wonder we get hooked up on what Leviticus seems to say about sexuality and shy away from this stuff. A prayer. God of the poor and forgotten, help us to stop our frantic striving for possessions. May we listen to your word, learn to rest and embrace your offer of new life. Amen. <laughs>